Hello everyone, my name is Juan and I want to welcome you back to my channel where I share with you my journey of learning how to oil paint. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I suggest you go watch my very first upload where I talk a little bit about myself and my purpose for starting this channel. Now today's painting is actually a commission so there was a lot of added pressure to be able to get it right. Along with this, the subject of the painting was also something that I haven't really practiced very much so there was a lot of potential for things to go wrong. Luckily for me, I was able to pull through it and I think I managed to pull it off. So I hope you enjoy the video. We'll get right into it. In my last video, I mentioned how I would be changing up my process a little bit. For my last few paintings, I completed a bunch of blockings and then proceeded to finish them, moving from one painting to another. I decided to go back to what I was doing before, which was completing one painting at a time. This way, I would be able to focus on one painting and give it the attention that it deserves. I may go back to doing a bunch of blockings again in the future, but that really depends on what kind of mood I'm in. So obviously, the first thing I did with this painting was to get a decent drawing of the subject. And I did this with the mixture of Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Blue. This drawing just had to be a basic drawing. I wasn't trying to get too detailed with it. Once I got the drawing done, I moved into the blocking stage. With the blocking stage, I used my original palette of the primaries Burnt Umber and the Titanium White. I actually ended up varying up my primary palette a little bit. I normally use Cadmium Red, Cadmium Lemon, and Ultramarine Blue. But this time I ended up changing it up a little bit. In place of Cadmium Red, I used Vermilion Hue. Instead of Cadmium Lemon, I used Cadmium Yellow Pale Hue. As I was going through the blocking with this palette, I noticed that there were certain colors that I really wasn't able to get. And so I decided that I would be adding a few colors to my palette when I moved to the final stage. I ended up adding a yellow ochre, a cerulean blue, and an alizarin crimson. And then once I moved on to painting the grass, I ended up using phthalo green, sap green, and a permanent green light. With these greens, I probably could have ended up mixing them from my palette, but I really didn't want to spend too much time trying to mix these greens when I could just use them straight from the tube. And though it's always a good idea to practice your color mixing, I felt that at this stage of the painting, I didn't really need to practice it. I just needed to get it done. Painting the dog itself, while very tedious in a way, was actually very fun for me to paint. It would seem like it caused me some trouble, but honestly, I felt like I got through it pretty well. It took me a little bit to figure out some aspects of it, but eventually I got through it. On the other hand, when it came to painting the grass, that is something that I was definitely not looking forward to painting because I really haven't practiced painting grass very much. I think I've painted grass once before and it honestly it didn't really turn out that well. And so I wasn't really looking forward to painting the grass because this is where the painting could really fail if I didn't get it right.
Another aspect that I really enjoyed painting with this one was actually these apples that were just lying here on the ground. As with a lot of things, it took me a little bit to figure out how to get them to look right, but I eventually figured it out and I managed to make them look pretty decent if I do say so myself. And then of course came time to put in the grass that I was dreading to paint. I was very scared that this would completely ruin the painting. And even though the grass didn't turn out perfect, I still think that it works with what I was doing here in this painting. I did try to keep the look of the grass a little bit loose as opposed to the dog that looks like it has a little bit more detail. And so I think I managed to get that look that I was going for here. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you liked the painting. As always, if you have any advice or suggestions, please be sure to let me know. That's all I have for now, so I will see you next time. Have a good one.